Good evening, everyone. I'm joined by a delighted John Askey after we're through to the second round of the Emirates FA Cup. John, how happy are you right now? 600 Vale fans going home, delighted, and I'm sure you boys in the dressing room are, are over the moon as well. Very much so, yeah. It's uh, you know great to come to a place like this, a first division club, away from home and, and get the result that we wanted. And uh, you know, it's uh, you know when you've got 600 fans again uh, following us, uh, it's great to send them home uh, with a smile on their face. And uh, thought we deserved it. Uh, first off, we should have gone in two or three up. Second off, we didn't keep the ball well enough, and you know we had to battle. Um, and that's what the players did. And limited them to very few chances again. Uh, Brownlee didn't have a lot to do. And uh, no, it's it's great to be in the next round. Three away wins on the bounce now. Two consecutive wins and two consecutive clean sheets. The change in form, especially away from home. What, is, what has happened there? Because you must be really pleased to see the boys finally delivering away from home because the signs were there, weren't they, safe to say? Yeah, well, I've said before that we weren't playing badly away from home. Uh, we just needed to see one or two games out better than what we did. And I think because now the players are used to playing with each other and it, and it takes time, uh, the way that we play. And uh, at the moment, it's, uh, it's coming together. And, uh, you know, if you keep your clean sheets, you've always got a chance. And, uh, and that's what we've done again today. So uh, you know, really pleased. And then it's not just the back four that keeps the clean sheets. It's the whole team. And it starts with Richie up front working hard and Tom when he comes on. And so, uh, no, it's a real good team effort. And I'm really pleased with them. Looking at the performance, started really brightly against a team that in, a, in a league above and got that goal early doors. David Warhol, of all people, getting ahead of a great cross by James Gibbons as well. Really well worked. Um, I think he started with David and uh, uh, Monty on the left-hand side. Worked it well, worked it across as uh, we needed to do. The system that they were playing, their full-backs could get on it a lot. And uh, no, really well worked uh, goal and uh, finished off with a great header from David. When you see the team 1-0 up in that second half, are you a lot more confident now about the team seeing this out? When you look back at the likes of Salford and later and Orient, nervous towards the end, but we look so comfortable now. I, I couldn't see us conceding today. Um, you know, the longer the game went on, um, they were keeping the ball, um, but never really getting in behind us or, you know, nobody's getting ahead on the, on the crosses. So, uh, no, it's uh, it really pleasing. We're a lot more calmer now. Uh, when the ball does come in the box. So, uh, yeah, long may it continue. A player who you've brought in recently, started at Bradford, Christian Montano, slotted in at left-back effortlessly, it's safe to say. And he's had a great game out there today as well, like the rest of the back four, but no one got past Monty there today. And if they did, he put in a great tackle. That's right. We, uh, you know, it's been a bonus, but Monty coming in. And, uh, and you rightly say that nobody goes past him. Uh, it's very difficult to beat him because he's so quick. And recover so quickly, and and his timing of his tackles has been good as well, which has surprised me. And uh, now he's he looks a good player in that position, and uh, you know it's uh, perhaps no coincidence that he's come in and, and we're starting to keep clean sheets. What does this win do to the chemistry and the and the confidence in the dressing room at the moment? Because you just keep that win, winning mentality going, and you've always said that's so important in football, isn't it? That's the thing that uh, you you know winning is, becomes a habit, like losing becomes a habit. And uh, you just start to know how to, how to, what it takes to win games. And uh, we're not getting too carried away. You know, it's still very early days. Um, but to come to a place like this where they've just changed the manager is obviously a fantastic result. And, uh, you know, to be, be watching the draw things on Monday. So, uh, you know, uh, everybody connected to, uh, to Port Vale will obviously be looking forward to the draw, which is great. You know, it's, it's something that I've always enjoyed yeah. uh, ever since I was young. And, uh, and when we're in the draw, it obviously makes it that much more special. And it's the first time in a while, actually, that Port Vale will be in the, in the hat for a second round tie. You think of the other cup competitions, the FA Cup, I don't think they've been in the second round for a while. So there'll be a real buzz amongst the fans as well. Yeah, because I've always grown up thinking that Vale do well in the FA Cup. You know, they've got a decent tradition in there, giant killing. So uh, hopefully we can do a bit ourselves. But... Uh, no, hopefully the, the draw will be favourable to us, to get a home draw. And then if we could get into the third round, then uh, that's when it becomes that little bit more special. Back home now, two home games on the bounce. Newcastle in the, in the Cup on Tuesday and then Carlisle on Saturday. So really enjoy this one tonight, but then back to basics and, and focusing on the next couple of games. Yeah, um, obviously Tuesday will give us a chance to have a look at one or two players. And uh, 
hopefully we can get to another win and and that will set us up nicely for the for the Carlisle game which again will be a tough one glass of red now on the coach back yeah yeah uh, well no no it won't actually I'm off, I'm off the drink at the moment but I'd just like to say hope you and your nan have a good time in Malta I know you're treating her to a holiday to see your mum and dad. So. I need a holiday. The amount of grillings you give me in these yeah. interviews. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll have a good time. It'll be a little bit like a little Brit and pushing her through, won't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Control, so yeah. Enjoy it, Max. Cheers, Pat. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll be joined by John Askey Tuesday evening when we take on Newcastle's under-21s in the leasing.com trophy.